Okay, Sifu, yeah. uh, we understand that in certain countries, uh, Qigong is actually banned. Mm -hmm. So, um, can you tell us how is the response right here in Malaysia? Uh, how are people uh, receiving mm. this alternative uh, yeah, kind of treatment, yeah, yeah, a way of life? Of remedy. Remedy. Mm -hmm. oh, the, those countries that they ban Qigong is not because of Qigong. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. Because Qigong has been in existence for thousands of years and mm -hmm. it benefited so many people. Mm -hmm. The reason is there are groups up there in those countries, mm -hmm. they use the name of Qigong but for other purposes. agendas and ah, purposes. Okay. So that's why uh, they were banned. Mm -hmm. right? In Malaysia, we're very fortunate. We have uh, so called Qigong, Sifu, and Master from all over the world mm -hmm. that come here. Mm -hmm. and uh, share their knowledge mm -hmm. yeah so uh, malaysian uh, well i say they really uh, very well received well see for you look like a very healthy person for whatever your <laughs> age is uh, you look really really healthy yeah. you know um i wouldn't put you uh, over 40 at the point i'm going right wow. now <laughs> but would you recommend qigong for ailing uh, you know ailing people people who who may have heart problems who may have a cancer problems. or serious ailments yeah. Do you think Qigong is also something that they can practice which would probably make them feel better? Yes. And maybe look like how you are right now. Yes, yeah, certainly, certainly. Anybody with any health condition, mm -hmm. even if a person can get out of the bed, mm -hmm. they can practice Qigong. Right. The only thing is that just like in sports, mm -hmm. when you to play sports, you choose the right sport That's right. for your purpose. That's in right. Qigong, there is actually many school of training, mm -hmm. many methods of training. Mm -hmm. So if a person wants to uh, learn Qigong, they should look for a training method mm -hmm. that suits his health condition mm -hmm. and for his he uh, health objective. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, so you were mentioning something about um, relieving yourself yes. and uh, feeling good mm. and aiding your own body, right? Um, I understand that yoga has something along that lines as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. so, uh, Okay, differences? Okay, yoga, uh, if you look into Qigong, mm -hmm. there's a certain Qigong training mm -hmm. which has been existent for a couple of thousand of years. Mm -hmm. The training method is very similar to yoga. Mm -hmm. Do a lot of physical stretching. Mm -hmm. yeah? Yoga is emphasizing on the posture. Mm -hmm. You do the right posture, even though certain yoga do uh, breathing as well, mm -hmm. but they do inhalation. Uh, they emphasize on inhalation. Qigong breathing method go beyond that. Mm -hmm. They have said we have five different ways of breathing methods, each for different purposes. Mm -hmm. And uh, in Qigong, we go more than just posture. Mm -hmm. We actually go into the visualization and so on. Okay. And then what we do is, if you train well, you can actually connect your mind and body together. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll show a little experiment. Sure. Will you allow please me to do, do that? Please do. Oh, yeah, okay. please do. Uh -huh. uh, this oh. is a pendulum. Mm -hmm. okay. This is a weight, you know. You can see when people at the roadside, yeah, they measure the road and so on, they take mm -hmm. this as a uh -huh. marker. So, there's a weight there. By right, it shouldn't be moving, mm. right? But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make this thing move. And I can direct it to move whether clockwise or anti-clockwise. Oh, okay. Yeah? Okay, so maybe you tell me if you want to do clockwise or anti-clockwise. Clockwise. Clockwise, okay. okay. That's it. I send energy there. Okay, it's clockwise now. Stop. Shall we do anti-clockwise? Sure. Yeah. Yes. Wow. And, and they call it magic. Stop. This is not magic. <laughs> this <laughs> is well, to the layman, this is exactly what right, I think. Exactly. Oh my god, that's like David, what? David, uh, uh, David Copperfield. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, uh, yeah. this small little experiment is to show us if you practice well, even the slow movement, right. if you're slowly accumulating, mm -hmm. you can uh, train yourself to be like this. Yeah. Where your energy is, is one with your okay. body. Right, with your body. Right. And then your mind can control energy. Say, well, how long did it take for you to master this? Or, or oh, I come have up been... to a level where you're able to, you know, accumulate your energy into an into a, into a, a area where you can control it? Okay, uh, I really don't know how long it took me because mm -hmm. I started training almost 30 years ago. Wow. Okay. And uh, initially, I didn't know Qigong can uh, treat people. Mm -hmm. It's just for my general health. Right. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Ten years down the road, after I practiced Qigong, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by chance, I actually met a... Grandmaster in China, mm -hmm. and he taught me how to treat people, mm -hmm. yeah? and uh, that's how I started treating. Mm -hmm. But uh, today, actually, I'm, I'm teaching people how to do all this. Mm -hmm. But in modern life, you they can I spend to train thirty years, mm 
Yes. So I put in in the training system called right. Wellness Medical Chito, mm -hmm. where I take a person from zero base mm -hmm. all the way to the point that they can do those things I was telling you right. uh, within the eight months program. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so uh, that's what we're doing now. At, at yeah. Medical Wellness Centre. Yeah. At Medical yeah. Wellness Centre. Yeah, at Center. the uh, Wellness um, Medical Chito Centre. Okay. Center. Now, yeah. for someone to come up to this point, and for Chikung itself, a lot of people think it is actually segregated to one race, but it is not, right? No. No, no. Okay, so my, it's open to anyone and anyone. Exactly. My patient, my student, mm -hmm. consists of any, all the races and all religions. Mm -hmm. yeah, because it's non-religion, mm -hmm. non-race based. Mm -hmm. yeah, we're all talking about very scientific. Mm -hmm. In our training program, we explain to you in a scientific way. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's so, very, very, it's just a way of life that you follow, uh, follow right. through and get better. Yes. So Sifu, for those who are interested to, of course, take up yep. Qigong, yeah. uh, tell us about the, how many hours is involved a week, what okay. do they have to do? You okay, know? right uh, before that, Sifu, mm -hmm. hold on your thoughts because we have a caller online. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Hi, morning. Hi. Uh, I'm Lina. I'm calling from Johor Bahru. Hi, yes, Lina. Lina. Hi. You know, I, I'm very interested uh, to, about this uh, Sifu Tan. Mm -hmm. so I just want to know whether uh, this uh, Chico is suitable for uh, hypertensive patients. Okay. Mm hmm. All right, thanks, Lena. Thank you for calling. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, can, oh, I, yeah. can I ask if uh, uh, Master Siputan has a branch in Johor Bahru? Oh, okay, ah. all right. Is thank that all, you. Lena? Yes, yeah, yeah. Thank okay, you. thank right. you so much for your call. Thank well, you. Yeah, uh, uh -huh. the first question, yes, uh, Qigong can help uh, hypertension, mm -hmm. high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Where many students, they have years of uh, such problem, mm -hmm. after practice, they solve their problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to know more about those experiences, go to our website, okay. uh, mm -hmm. www.wellnessmedicalqigong.com. Mm -hmm. okay. Qigong spell Q-I-G-O-N-G. Okay. And uh, for Johor Bahru, very sorry at this point in time, I don't have any branch. Not yet. <laughs> Did not yet have any branches. Mm -hmm. right. And uh, I wish that somebody would like to learn and then start something Just there. Take it down to <laughs> JB. You know, as yeah. soon as Sifu empowers me, I will go to JB. Okay. <laughs> there you go, you've got a candidate already. <laughs> well, Sifu, thank you so much for thank this. You thank you so much, much for thank coming you. on thank board you. And, you. And, and telling us more about Qigong itself. Thank you. Thank you. We wish you all the best. Thank, thank you very much. Right for you, Wellness Medical Qigong is the space you can go into if you want to take a look at uh, what they do and if you want to know more about where they are. Mm -hmm. There you go, the website's right up there and that's Sifu Tan looking very... Different and very young. <laughs> That's him. Okay.